Yo guys, what is up? It is your boy Brazaden Flex here and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. So in the last episode, we were introduced to the game, we made our character here, and we stopped the breach completely, and we woke up in this nice little hut here. We had a little elven servant here, but she like ran off, looked kind of terrified to talk to Cassandra. So um, in this episode, we're just going to continue with our playthrough. So right now our mission is to find Cassandra in the Chantry. So let's leave our little house. Oh, hello. Wait, why are they like this? They're acting as if a king has just showed up. That's Hello? That's the, Herald of Andraste. the Herald of Andraste. Oh, so um, just to back you up with some like little background or whatever, Andraste to these people would be like Jesus to us. Um, someone who like walked on earth and then was uh, taken at the seat of the maker or God, I guess you could say it. But um, yeah, so that's who um, Andraste is to them, in case you guys get confused in the game. I did close. Oh, never mind. There it is. Yeah, so never mind freaking giving me attitude. I come back there and slap you. <laughs> I don't know why I just said that. I'm sorry. Oh my god, look at that thing. It's massive. Okay, so here's the Chantry. Hello! Yeah, well, Chancellor Roderick talks a lot of shit. I don't like him. He's a douche. Okay, I'm guessing this is it. No, I'm completely sane. I just hear voices sometimes. Right, and how long is that going to take? Sorry, I just want to hear this. Oh, and you could have done better. Oh, I see how it is. Yeah, exactly. Alright, that's enough. I'm coming in. Where is he? There's the douchebag. Disregard that. And leave us. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Chancellor. A dangerous lion, Seeker. Really the now? Is stable, but it is still a threat. I will not ignore it. And you don't want to piss her off. I did what I could. I'm still suspect. You want me to help again? No, I did what I could. I did everything I could to close the breach. It almost killed me. Exactly. Yet you live. A convenient result, in so far as you're concerned. Have a care, Chancellor. The breach is not the only threat we face. She scares Someone me. <laughs> was behind the explosion at the Conclave. Someone most holy did not expect. Mm -hmm. Perhaps they died with the others, or have allies who yet live. Dun dun dun. I am a suspect. Yeah, you are. You and many others, but not the prisoner. Nope. I heard the voices in the temple. The divine called to him for help. So his survival, that thing on his hand, all a coincidence. Providence. The Maker sent him to us in our darkest hour. So I'm not going to say anything like a whole lot, just so you guys can hear these cutscenes. I am not a chosen one. I'm confused. What more do you want? Are you serious? You believe I'm innocent? Blessed be the Maker. So let's go for like the whole, um, let's go for like the religious good guy, I guess. So blessed be the Maker. Before me is shadow. Yet Get the maker, maker be, be my guide. Whoa, Cassandra Without approves. Then, out of nowhere, you came. I rode in on my flaming horse and saved the day, even though I didn't have a horse. This is not for you to decide. Really now? It's a book. You know what this is, Chancellor. A writ from the divine, granting us the authority to act. Oh. As of this moment. I declare the Inquisition reborn. Yes! We will close the breach, we will find those responsible, and we will restore order with or without your approval. Damn! This girl's got fire in her heart. Yes, take a hike. Walk your fucking ass out that door. Vine's directive. Rebuild the Inquisition of old. Oh. Find those who will stand against the chaos. We aren't ready. We have no leader. No numbers and no chantry support. Well, what do we have? But we have no choice. We must act now. With you at our side. Okay, so a little bit of background into the Inquisition. They were like in the very first Dragon Age game. Um, as well as like before that. They fought uh, 
against like the demons, I guess, in like the very first war against um, against the arch demons and everything like that. Investigate the Inquisition of old. What is the Inquisition of old exactly? It preceded the Chantry. People who banded together. There you go. Restore order in a world gone mad. After, they laid down their banner and formed the Templar Order. But the Templars have lost their way. Clearly. We need those who can do what must be done united under a single banner once more. What about the Chantry? But aren't you still part of the Chantry? <laughs> Is that what you see? The Chantry will take time to find a new divine. And then it will wait for her direction. But we cannot wait. So many grand clerics died at the Conclave. No, we are on our own. Perhaps forever. In other case, they can't think for themselves. They have to wait for somebody else to do it for them. You want to start a holy war. You're trying to start a holy war. We are already at war. Kinda, yeah. You are already involved. Its mark is upon you. As to whether the war is holy, that depends on what we discover. And if I refuse? What if I, what if I want nothing to do with this? You can go if you wish. Oh, okay. You should know that while some believe you chosen, many still think you guilty. The Inquisition can only protect you if you are with us. We can also help you. It will not be easy if you stay. But you cannot pretend this has not changed you. Well then, we can either agree or leave. I want to help. If you're truly trying to restore order... This world's gone crazy. Help us fix this before it's too late. Yeah, partnership created. And the Inquisition is born. So there we go. We have Cassandra and Liliana. Hopefully Chancellor Roderick took a fucking hike. Checked his attitude. My god, these cutscenes last a long time. There we go. Ah, it looks like chicken scratch. Wait, who are these two? We got a lady in yellow and we got... Oh, that's Commander Cullen. I don't know who the lady in yellow is. Very, very cool looking book. Jeez, they got this whole place decked out with banners now. Oh, we got crows. So crows acted as messengers in ancient times, so... I guess that works. Where the heck are they going? Okay, they're going to a Templar castle. And that looks like an elven port almost. Very, very pretty. They did such a good such a good job with this game. Oh, sign up sheet banged right on a church door. Nice. If any of you can read that, I'll give you a thousand dollars. Yeah, what are you looking at? Get lost. You're just adding to our problem. Oh, here we go. We're training already. <laughs> What's with the goofy hats? <laughs> Got our blacksmiths going. To be fair, we have a couple soldiers. I wouldn't say more than like maybe 50 or 100. Whoa, look at me now. I got some new armor. And our sword and our griffin shield. Oh, and the banner of the Inquisition. Oh, how cool is that? Dragon Age Inquisition. The longest intro to a video game ever. <laughs> that was so cool. Look at us. Look at this armor we got. We look absolutely badass now. Influence, okay. Speak with the smith, speak with the quartermaster, speak with the apothecary, I think that said. Oh god, I hope I don't have to do a lot of reading. Um, oh, I think this is the... Fulfill, inquisi blah, 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 inf fulfill inquisition requisitions with the quartermaster. My god, okay. No, my lord, I don't know where the other nobles are. I suggest you ask Ambassador Montillier. Montillier, that's a name and a half. Thryn, inquisition quartermaster. I'm doing what I can to supply this mess. Well, thank you. Find what I need to fill one of my requisitions. I'd appreciate you bringing it in. 
Uh, how do I fill special orders? I don't want to do too much, uh, like, talking for you guys, because I know that gets boring. Uh, don't need to know what your job is. What did you mean when you mentioned requisitions? I'm making this inquisition run with what we have, but we're not a real army. Not even close. Thin on materials, so I've put up a requisition list for anything that could help our people. Here, take a look. You find inquisition weapons, okay. Maybe Harriet can get our troops better weapons. Okay, thank you. Okay, so oh, okay, requisition for weapons, so we have. Five iron, we need a logging stand. Okay. Okay, well, let's go take a look around. I don't want to just, like, be talking with a bunch of people. Uh, there's Varric. We'll talk with Varric after. Um, what's this? Andraste's Mabari. Oh, this is like a song. Okay, cool. I'll look at that after, and then you guys can, like, look at the words and stuff. Okay, let's just talk to Varric right now. Oh, okay, cutscene. So, now that Cassandra's out of earshot, are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. Don't forget getting attacked by demons, getting hit with meteors, getting blown up, and getting nearly killed trying to close that breach. Too many people died up there. I'm just glad to be alive. I can barely keep up. This is all bullshit. I'm fine. Um, I don't want to go super sobby. Um, I'm just glad to be alive. I'm just glad I'm still standing after all that. I still can't believe you survived Cassandra. You're lucky you were out cold for most of her frothing rage. She scares me. For days now, we've been staring at the breach, watching demons and maker knows what fall out of it. Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. Why did you stay? If it was that bad, why did you stay? Cassandra said you were free to go. I like to think I'm as selfish and irresponsible as the next guy, but this... Thousands of people died on that mountain. I was almost one of them. And now there's a hole in the sky. Even I can't walk away and just leave that. To Notice how he still hasn't buttoned up his shirt and his badass chest hair is still showing. Um, even I can't walk away and just leave the sort of... I was fortunate. It's pure luck that I escaped. Good luck or bad. You might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. You write books? Heroes are everywhere. I've seen that. But the hole in the sky... That's beyond heroes. We're going to need a miracle. And a mighty frickin' big one at that, buddy. I'm with ya. Varric's cool. I like him. He kinda... He doesn't, like, think like anybody else. He thinks in the here and now and how crazy all this shit is. Okay, let's talk to him again. Yeah, tell me about Red Lyrium. The Red Lyrium we found at the temple seemed to upset you. My brother Bartrand and I sort of discovered Red Lyrium during an expedition in the Deep Roads. We located an ancient taig, so old it barely looked dwarven. There was this idol there made of it. Ugh. Bartrand brought it back to the surface, and, well, everything's gone downhill from there. Okay, let's investigate a bit. What is it exactly? What is it? Just another kind of Lyrium. So it's in a class of its own. It's a different color. It has a whole host of weirdness all its own. I've written to every mining cast house in Orzammar. No one's seen this stuff before or knows where it came from. What can it do? What makes it special? We gotta know what we're up against. Lyrium can mess you up pretty badly, but you have to ingest it for that to happen. Red Lyrium messes with your mind when you're just near the stuff. You hear singing, get violent, paranoid, and then... It's like it's like taking acid. Bring statues to life. Yeah. It also turned Kirkwall's night commander to Lyrium. Sounds fun. So it's like a bad acid trip pretty much. Why was it in the temple? How did the red Lyrium get in the temple of sacred ashes? I don't know. So as far as I knew, the only piece to make it to the surface was destroyed. And the location of the tiger it came from is a secret. Did someone find more of it in the deep roads? That's not a cheery thought. Definitely not. We'll talk to Varric more later. Um, his personal stuff. You know what? Let me know in the comments if uh, if you guys actually want to hear like the personal stuff of each character. Um, I'm just gonna leave it right now, just in case you guys get bored of just listening to talking and everything like that. So um, oh, they're just talking about Commander Cullen. Okay, let's go this way. Um, okay, we got a bunch of guys training over here. 
Uh, let's go over here. So, we got a stable, but no horses. A golden nug. What the hell is this thing? Secret I Oh, okay. So, that's just something else. Okay, never mind. Craft armor and weapons at the local blacksmith. Where is he? Oh, here he is. Harrit. Nice mustache, bro. Quite well. I like it. It's cool. No. Do you have any designs I can use? Acquired schematic, defender mail. Cool. Uh... What's your story? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, we'll do that after. Thank you. Okay. Have some armor made. Okay, what's in this? Loot. Defender coat arms. Okay, we'll take those. Um, what's in here? Ooh, we got an arming score sword. Arming sword schematic, onyx, and some summer stone. I can't speak. Okay, uh, that's okay. Craft armor? Yeah, we'll, we'll craft some armor first. Craft new armor weapons, you need a schematic and enough materials. The schematic determines the appearance and potential power of the crafted item. Okay. Each crafting schematic has one or more slots. Each slot accepts a specific number of metal, cloth, or leather. Oh my god, this is long. Uh, five different types. There's utility, offense, defense, damage, and armor. Type of slot determines the stat. Placing iron in the defense slot gives you a bonus to melee damage while putting it to the utility slot gives a bonus to strength. Okay, so each one has a different thing. Each crafting to pre-dead stat value for each pill. Okay. I'm just sorry if I'm speaking kind of gibberishly, but I'm just kind of scanning through it. Okay, so... Oh, it changes the color of it too. Okay. Um, it doesn't really change like the armor rating at all from anything. Um, we make some onyx armor. There we go. Onyx is not exactly tough. Uh, iron is tougher, so... Oh, with Summerstone, we got 40 plus health. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. Uh, craft. Vigorous Defender Mail. Oh, we can rename it. Um, okay, so we'll just name this Vulcan's Defender Mail. Hang on one sec. I type kind of slow, because I'm not on a keyboard. I'm on a controller. There we go. Vulcan's Defender Mail. Cool. Now we got some new armor. Um, can I upgrade it? Modify armor. Upgrading armor slot increases stats, so yeah, we already know that. Freely remove and add existing upgrades or exchange them between different items. Okay, so I can pull something off uh, other equipment that I haven't put it on. So we have our armor here. So defender coats. Ooh, got some funky looking gloves here. So what's it do? Plus 3% melee defense. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. Um, we gotta start off small here. Gotta start off small. Then we can get into the big shit. Arming sword. Ooh, look at this thing. It's like a spear tip almost. Okay, we're making this. Um, we make it out of onyx to match our armor. And then let's see what we got. So we can take 8% guard damage bonus. We can take a stagger on hit bonus. Or we can take an attack bonus. Well, knowing us, we just got to go for the attack bonus. So we'll do that. Buddha longsword. Nah, 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 nah. Vulcan's longsword is what it's going to be called. Hang on. My god. I type so slow. Okay, there we go. Vulcan's longsword. Okay, cool. Can we make anything else? No, nothing else. Okay. Now let's actually go in here. And we're going to equip our new armor. And we're going to equip our new sword. Nice! Look at that. Wait, can we modify the sword at all? Oh, excuse me. Because that's the one we were using, I think, with the red grip, right? Or where's the one... Okay, yeah, that was the one we were using. So we can't put a grip or anything on because we don't have anything. Um, buy and sell. Do you have anything? Technician's Renewal. What the hell is this thing? Single use ammo lets the bear clear his mind and re- Oh, so this is for like, um, if you do something wrong and you put a skill point where you didn't want it, you can, uh, you can refresh it. Okay. Okay, enough dicking around making armor and stuff. So we got our new sword. We got our new armor. Uh, we're gonna go explore a bit. What's in this? Defender armor. We're Templars. What does that mean anymore? Oh my god, she actually said what I said. Okay. Um, let's just... Yeah, you guys keep training. 
Oh my god, look at her armor. She got a lion on the front of it. Okay. Like I said, enough dicking around. Um, let's go over here. Elf fruit. Okay, we'll pick this. Don't know what it does, but all right. Uh, what's over here? More elf fruit. Okay, we take it. Um, okay. More elf fruit. Okay. My god, there's so much of it around here. What's this? Iron? Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, okay, just one chunk. Um, it'll say, if you got more than one, it'll actually say, oh, searching, okay. Didn't need to actually show that, because we already know. There might be something here. Is it now? Are your spidey senses tingling? Well, we don't have spider spider senses, so we'll just say our, our nut hairs are tingling. There we go. <laughs> I know that's fucking weird. Just leave me alone, okay? Ah, it's right here. My testicles are tingling. Keep the notes for later, okay? Well, I'm glad I went out of my way to do that. Um... Is there anything else here? There's some iron back there, but I don't really need it. Okay, more elf fruit. My god, look at all the iron! Goes on for days up here. Also, I hope you guys are liking this playthrough. Um, I decided to do something a little bit different. Um, I didn't want to just play cartoony games. I wanted to play some games that are like actual, like M-rated games like Dragon Age. I want to play The Witcher at some point. But the problem being, there's a lot of nudity in that game, so uh, I gotta become a little bit better with editing and everything like that before I do that. Because, you know, I don't need to get uh, I don't need to get a strike and get kicked off of YouTube because I showed a pair of tits, so... Okay, um, let's go over this way. This mountain is freaking huge. What's over here? Uh, oh, there's a ram. Oh, what's this? Logging stand. There we go. Okay, now we can fill the requisition, so let's go back to our base, which is taking a very long time. Um, you know what, I'm just going to do some collecting, and I'll come back when I'm back over at the requisition stand, so see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I did some collecting, we're back over here at the requisition table, so we're going to fill this out. Ooh, that looks like Cassandra's sword. Okay, so we'll fill it. What do we get? Reward plus one power. Okay, not sure what that means, but okay. There we go. Oh, we got 200 influence as well. Not sure what either of those things is for, but I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. Um, now we're going to go over here because there's another little icon over here. And I think this is the um, the healer or whatever. So let's see. I think there's someone else over here. Oh, Solus is over here. Okay, let's talk to Solus. The chosen of Andraste. A blessed hero sent to save us all. Sounds dashing. Am I riding in on a shining steed? Yay! I would have suggested a griffon. But sadly, they're extinct. A griffin, you're insane. You will. I like the way he thinks. I've journeyed deep into the fade in ancient ruins and battlefields to see the dreams of lost civilizations. Interesting. I've watched as hosts of spirits clash to reenact the bloody past in ancient wars, both famous and forgotten. You've seen some shit, dude. Every great war has its heroes. I'm just curious what kind you'll be. Um, you study ancient ruins? Ruins and battlefield. Any building strong enough to withstand the rigors of time as a history. Every battlefield is steeped in death. Both attract spirits. They press against the veil, weakening the barrier between our worlds. Interesting. When I dream in such places. I go deep into the fade. I can find memories no other living being has ever seen. So he studies the fade, um, which is uh, frowned upon by mages. How can you sleep there? You fall asleep in the middle of ancient ruins. Isn't that dangerous? I do set wards. And if you leave food out for the giant spiders, they are usually content to live and let live. Till they run out of food and then they decide to start gnawing on your leg while you're asleep. That's dangerous, that's valuable, that's impressive. That's impressive, the fact that he can ward off spiders. I've never heard of anyone going so far into the faith. That's extraordinary. Thank you. It's not a common field of study for obvious reasons. Not so flashy as throwing fire or lightning. The thrill of finding remnants of a thousand-year-old dream? I would not trade it for anything. That would be pretty cool. I will stay there. At least until the breach has been closed. Was that in doubt? I am an apostate surrounded by Chantry forces in the middle of a mage rebellion. <laughs> has been accommodated. But you understand my caution. Basically, he's standing in the middle of a fire, so... Uh, we have bigger problems. Your fears don't matter. Cassandra will protect you. Cassandra trusts you. She won't let anyone put you into a circle against your will. Thank you. I appreciate the thought. But now let us hope either the mages or the Templars have the power to seal the breach. 
I doubt either one of them has. Also, why is everyone so pale? Like, you guys need to go catch some rays. Like, I'm not exactly dark, but I've at least got a tan going on. Open. What's in here? Apothecary. Find recipes throughout exploration or by visiting merchants. Herbs you gather to upgrade potions. Ooh, okay. What's going on in here? Read. Okay, that's just a note. Oh, wow. So, Sagrit is like a merchant, and all he cares about is getting rich in this. Adon, let's talk to him. Look who's back from the dead. Again. We've met? I don't recall meeting you before. I'd be surprised if you did. You weren't particularly coherent. Someone had to patch you up after you staggered out of making those wear, though. So, you're welcome. Oh, thank you. I didn't realize. Thank you. Yeah. You can pay me back by fixing the world. That's a pretty big fucking request, buddy. Before we speak anymore, can't I just buy you a beer instead of fixing the world? Uh, need any help? Uh, yeah, need any help? Is there anything I can do to help out? We're fine as far as raw labor goes. You've more important things to do than tend to me. I only wish I'd been able to find Master Tajin's notes. Old bastard was working on something special. Oh. He died at the conclave, and his notes weren't here. Been too busy dealing with the wounded to look for them. I found them. Give him the notes. You, said you thought Master Tajin was working on something special. If it helps, I found his notes. <laughs> the old codger was on the edge of a breakthrough here. He couldn't see it. You want some of these mixed up? You just give the word. Wait, what? How do I order potions? Acquired lyrium potion recipe. Oh. Cool. Recipe card. Regeneration potion. Ooh. Okay. Upgrade. Uh, let's see. Upgrading potions. Select category. Select potion. Upgrade. Okay. Well, all we have is these. We got a healing potion. Instantly restores 385. Jesus. Okay. Restores 26 health every two seconds for 60 seconds. Increases magic by 30. So Lyrium Potions is for mages, so it's pretty much useless for us. Oh, excuse me. Okay. See the Regeneration Potion. We need 18 Elf Root and 1 Royal Elf Root. Uh, 29 Elf Root for this and 1 Dawn Lotus. Okay. We don't have any of that stuff right now, so we can come back for that. Wait, why do I have 8 potions? Oh, yeah, we already have 8. Never mind. Um, potion Assignment. Oh, okay. So let's put regeneration potions here. Replenish individual. Oh, I see. So to regenerate them. Okay, so that's where the elf fruit comes in. So we'll have... We have three for Vulcan. We'll give Cassandra some because she's going to be in combat with us. So we'll load Cassandra up. Um, should we give... No, Varric and Solus are fine. They don't really need them. Okay, cool. Um, okay, let's check out some of these houses. What's in here? Um, beep it be read. Okay, if you guys want to read this, I'll just scroll through it quickly. You guys can pause the video and read. Um, because we all know how good I am with reading. Um, so yeah, sorry if I'm kind of sidelining and reading everything and looting everything. But that's what you have to do. You have to stop and grab every little thing. Because you might not know. Um, you might not need that. But I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, you, you never know when you'll need it is what I was trying to get at. Um, also, when you read books in this, you also get like a little experience, like 50 but then I remember if you upgrade enough, you can get like 125 from each one, which is quite a bit. Um, so that's why I do that. Okay, let's uh, let's report to the Haven's Chantry. Because we're done doing all that stuff. Cutscenes are a little bit long. Um, yeah, sorry if this episode isn't as uh, entertaining as usual, but like we just got to do all the little stuff before we do all the, all the big stuff. Does it trouble you? My hand? I want it gone. It's fine. Where does it come from? It didn't close a breach. Not anymore. It stops spreading and it doesn't hurt. We take our victories where we can. What's important is that your mark is now stable. As is the breach. You've given us time. And Solas believes a second attempt might succeed. Provided the mark has more power. The same level of power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. Sounds like fun. 
What harm could there be in powering up something we barely understand? <laughs> Hold on to that. Nice one. I want to be like the jokey, like, sort of fun relief guy. You've met Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition's forces. It was only for a moment on the field. Nice I mean, armor, bro. Did you skin a lion to get that? Montelier. Oh, that's Ambassador Montelier. Messed that up completely. It's a pleasure to meet you. And of course, you know Sister Liliana. Yep. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spy master. <laughs> yes. Tactfully put, Cassandra. A pleasure. Pleased to meet you all. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. No. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. We need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark. Might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. I know what they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. Great! The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition. And you, specifically. They still think I did it, did they? Still think I'm guilty. That is not the entirety of it any longer. Some are calling you the Herald of Andraste, and that frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared it blasphemy, and we heretics for harboring you. Great. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. That dickhead again. Options. Approaching the mages or Templars for help is currently out of the question. The Herald of Andraste. Just how am I the Herald of Andraste? People saw what you did at the temple, how you stopped the breach from growing. They have also heard about the woman seen in the rift when we first found you. They believe that was Andraste. Even if we tried to stop that view from spreading. Which we have not. The point is, everyone is talking about you. It's quite the title, isn't it? How do you feel about that? Personally, I don't like if I'm the center of attention uh, and everybody's talking about me. I don't know. They're wrong. It's unnerving. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Screw it. I, don't mind it at all. I like the title. For a sign of hope. For some, you're that sign. And to others, a symbol of everything that's gone wrong. I mean, if it helps people, like, calm down and settle in this time, then yeah, they can call me whatever. Um, could we be attacked? The breach don't worry. Yeah, the breach doesn't worry them. They aren't more concerned about the breach. The real threat. They do know it's a threat. They just don't think we can stop it. The Chantry is telling everyone you'll make it worse. There is something you can Yet tell they're you. doing nothing. The Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. That could be trouble. Why would she help us? I'll talk to her. I'll see what she has to say. <clears throat> you will find Mother Giselle tending to the wounded in the hinterlands near Redcliffe. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. We need agents to extend our reach beyond this valley, and you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. Alrighty, to the map. The War Table allows you to apply the power of the Inquisition throughout Orlay and Ferelden. Mother Giselle is in the hinterlands, which can be found on the Ferelden side of the table. Ah, uh, okay. Orlay, known for its culture of extravagant nobility, yet also as the birthplace of the Chantry, Orlay is the most powerful human nature in Thetis. Or nation, sorry. Conquered by Orlay, torn by civil war, ravaged by the fifth blight, Ferelden is no stranger to hardship. With the veil weakened, the land is more turbulent than ever. Well then. War table. Oh, so this is where the power part comes in. Oh god, where's the marker? Okay. Uh, scout the hinterlands. Yeah, okay. Mother Giselle was last seen in the hinterlands outside Redcliffe tending refugees who fled the fighting between renegade Templars and apostate mages. The latest reports suggest that the vicious struggle between the two groups has spread to the hinterlands, catching the refugees and Mother Giselle in the middle. It is vital to protect her and, it possible, and if possible, restore order to the area. Oh, and this is who we can pick to send on it, so... If Giselle dies, any hope of Chantry support dies with her. My scouts will slip past the fighting, find her, and protect her with their lives. Uh, yeah, we do that. 
Oh, right into it. Oh, God. Templars and mages. Oh, he got blasted. Oh, okay. Chopped down. Oh, he got shot with an arrow. So did he. Oh, she's a badass. Oh, there's the scouts. Okay. Oh, my God. Everything's burning. Who is that? She's an Inquisition scout. That's clear. Fly, birdie. There's Mother Giselle. I assume so. She's in a cleric shirt, so... Are we going? Okay, new area unlocked. Would you like to gather your party and venture to the hinterlands now? Yeah, let's go. Okay, Cassandra, Varric, and Solus. We can already we can only take uh, three companions, but we only have three, so you know. Okay, okay. I'll scroll through each one of these if you guys want to pause the video and read them. Um, I'm definitely not reading. Because, you know, we, we all know how well that goes when I'm reading. I mispronounce half the words and then I stumble, so. Any day now. My goodness, these cutscenes take forever to go through. There's some kind of creepy music playing in the background. I don't like it. <laughs> Holy, this is taking forever. I didn't realize it was going to take this long. There we go. Oh, she's a dwarf. Everyone has. We know what you did at the breach. It's an honor to meet you, my lord. Inquisition Scout Harding at your service. Okay. I, all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's high town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and... No. Oh, God. So in case you guys don't get that joke, uh, Beric wrote a series of books called Harding and Hightown, so he was trying to make that kind of a joke. What's the word out here? You've heard stories about me. Pleased to meet you. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I want to be respectable. We should get to business. The situation's pretty dire. We came to secure horses from Red Cliff's old horse master. Okay, how'd that go? Here, and people always said that Dennett's herds were the strongest and the fastest this side of the Frostbacks. But with the Mage Templar fighting getting worse, we couldn't get to Denet. Maker only knows if he's even still alive. Lovely. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the war's spread there, too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose. Harold of Andraste to the rescue, baby. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm sorry if it was incredibly boring to watch. But uh, like I said, you got to do the progressive stuff before you can get into all the fighting and everything like that. So, um, in the next episode, we'll make sure to go to the crossroads and help Mother Giselle. And then we'll explore all of the hinterlands and do everything that we have to here. But in the meantime, guys, you all know what to do. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. It helps me a lot. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. Thanks so much. And goodbye. Thank you.